Hey guys, Big John with J Custom Builds. Welcome to the channel. So today we are going to work on the throttle and idle cable lines. I decided to try to make my videos a little bit shorter and start trying to just do one subject at a time. So today we are going to be doing the idle and throttle cable. I am not going to be able to hook them up to the bars because the master cylinder is not finished yet. I barely put the first coat on it. I will be following up with a video on that as well as the follow way on the front wheel, putting the front brake caliper on, hooking up all the lines and all the control switches on the bars and getting those all dressed up on the bars and then doing the new headlights, all the new lighting on the front, getting all that reassembled. And I'm gonna break those videos down. So I appreciate your support again. And uh, other than that, let's get started on this video. Hey guys, how's it going? So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and continue on on the uh, 2013 Softail. I'm actually running the throttle and eyeball cables behind the gas tank and down to the fuel injection. And uh, let me show you guys real quick what I'm doing here. So what I did is I, I ran them both. You can see they're both right here. I'm not worried about which is which. Um, I already know which is which. So you can mark them at the, at the front though, if that'll help you. You can mark them here. You can put front and back on them. I'll go ahead and uh, explain that when I get to that part. So what I did is you can see that I ran them both into that little uh, that little clip right there. And uh, they're both right here. So the one with the spring here is the idle cable. And the one in the back there is the, the throttle cable. So I'm going to set the camera up over here with the light over here where the ring is so that you can actually see what I'm doing. So first I'm gonna go ahead and get the throttle cable in there. So the throttle cable goes in the rear. So I'm gonna push it back. And there's a little slit back here. I'll show you guys where that goes. And then it slides back. I need a little bit more light. Let me put this light over here. Cause this is the one for the front. So the one in the back goes in this little cup right here. So I'm gonna do is keep pulling it. Let's push it down in there. It goes down in here. So you can see how it goes down in that little slot there. And then it has a little slit right there where the cable actually goes down and goes around. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna have to stand up. Hopefully I'm not in your guys' way. So what I'm gonna do is pull the throttle back and it actually goes in like this. The little barrel here goes in that little slot just like that. And then it wraps around just like so. So when I pull the throttle cable, it's going to do this. Can you see that? It opens it up. So that actually swung behind and is doing that. So that's the throttle cable, right? And then I'm going to take the idle cable and push it back in through there a little bit. And the idle cable, you can always tell because it has a little spring. You see that little spring right there? That spring goes inside this little cup right here. Can you see that little cup? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go like so and lift that spring, because you want that spring to go inside of that little cup, just like that. And that spring is inside of there. I'm gonna pull this all the way, and then I'm gonna rotate this back and hold it like that. And then the idle cable goes, the little barrel there, goes in the front one, just like that. And then you tuck that back in like so. And that is your idle cable. So you can see this little barrel right here. It has a slot on the side there. That little slot there where you pull the cable through and around. And then this is your, this is your idle cable right here. 
and it has that little spring in there. And then the throttle cable is the one in the very back. And you can see how they're both through that little, they're both through that little loop right there. And that just extra uh, support to keep them in place. If that wasn't there, I'd go ahead and put a tie wrap on them so that they could be secure. And then they're just coming out right here and they're just hanging right there. And I will put them on when I get all that on. But so far I just kind of mocked that up. That is the, you know, the, the lights, the trip and the horn and the, the, the blinker, the flasher. All this is new. I ended up getting a new top shelf for them and I got a new clamp here. The only thing that I didn't get was the bolts. I'll probably get those from work. And then this, this uh, bracket right here is brand new. So now that I got those in, I'm gonna go ahead and put the gas tank back down. I have no reason for that anymore. I'll put the gas tank back and then I'm gonna go ahead and work on putting all the front together so I can do the uh, follow away on it. So yeah, cables are all in there and we're looking good.